welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because I'm going to be entering into the James Charles casting search and hopefully I get a chance to really prove myself with this because I'd love to grow and really just take my ability to create content to a whole nother level. We're just gonna jump right in and get glam. First step in any routine I think is key is primer. So we're gonna start off with the Farsali Skin Tune Blur, but it's also hydrating, which is something that I definitely look for. Then we're gonna do some of the J1 Jelly Pack. I just like to tap this on with my finger. Then we're gonna prime with the ABH Eye Primer. This is one of my go-to products right now. And I think eye primer is really important, especially if you're wearing really colorful looks. It's just going to really make sure that the product stays on. Now I'm actually going to take my Morphe and James Charles palette. And what we're going to do is start packing that on in the outer corner. And you want to use stamping motions where as if you're starting to scratch, you're really starting to lose pigment. Now we're going to take the lighter purple next door and start packing that right above. You see how that's already starting to just blend so nicely? Now my baby's twinctorials sent over the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves and it is an all matte palette and I'm going to take the shade right here called rosy we're gonna kind of blend that into the colors i'm gonna use the ColourPop no filter concealer and i'm gonna take that crazy purple from the james palette and i'm kind of going up all the way to the brow with this mm, it's starting to come together now i'm gonna take my nyx glitter primer I'm gonna take this super pretty chunky glitter from Glitter Mousse Cosmetics, and that's just gonna add even more to this look. Now, they also sent over the Jeffree Star highlight in Sarcophagus, and I'm gonna pack that on the inner corner. Now, for the lower lash line, I'm taking the really bright blue from the James palette. Oh, hi! Now, quickly, I'm gonna put on some black liner from Wet n Wild, and we're just giving ourselves a little base for our lashes. Now I'm going to take the Sephora lashes, these are hipster number 20, and I'll look down into my mirror and pop them on. Now I'm also going to take some NARS Climax mascara, and you always want to hide your natural lashes. So now that one eye is done, I'm going to go off camera and do the other, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we are back. Ooh, this look is something fierce. I have a little system that I like to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the Revlon Candid. Then I'm going to take the L'Oreal Full Wear. And then with the Age Rewind, I like to take a nice warm shade. And what I like to do is start with this area. And then with a different side of the sponge, start kind of tapping over that tan. For today's look, I'm taking the Beached Bronzer from Urban Decay, and we're lightly kind of stamping closer to the base. So I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter and Sarcophagus. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay, this is intense. So what we're going to do to combat that is take our blush. This is Anastasia in Peachy Love, and we're going to do our blush right over that. And I'm gonna take the brow gel from ABH. This is the dip brow. And if you're afraid of filling in your brows, then I would give like a brow gel a try. So we're taking Miss ABH Dewy Set. I start pouncing over the face and really locking everything in place. I'm gonna take this Rummel liner in number 45 Epic. And I like to line my lower lip, then I bring it up onto the lip. Now I'm gonna take this lipstick from a brand named Carity. I like to take some white ColourPop concealer. We're just gonna tap. And that just gives them a little more dimension. And again, this is my entry into the James Charles casting. So if you wanna leave a little like and sub to my channel, that would be great. If not, that's okay too, I won't judge. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you learned a little something from this. If you incorporate something into your routine, let me know on social media. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.